Hey, Fred Minnick here. I'm one third of the popular podcast Bourbon Pursuit and a longtime whiskey critic. And today I'm going to tell you the 10 bourbons that you need to get to start your collection. Now, starting a bourbon collection, you need to have a little bit of hard to find everyday bourbons and just a touch of limited edition. I'm not talking about going out and standing in line for a bottle of Pappy or Buffalo Trace Antique Collection. But if you're going to get in the game, if you're going to become a, a bourbon lover, if you're going to be a bourbon head and start getting in the groups and chatting it up, you do want to have a, a, a bottle that's a little harder to find than some. So let's get to it. So I've got 10 bottles here that I think would be a great, great starter kit for anybody wanting to get in the game. I do. I think they're fantastic. I'm going to start with Four Roses Single Barrel. This right now is my favorite of the Four Roses line. Now, why do you need Four Roses in your cabinet? Well, because it will teach you what high rye bourbons can taste like. Four Roses has the most rye of the of the regular distillers, the big distillers. They have the highest rye content, and it they create a special uh, flavor profile with that rye. They're also using a lot of different yeast strains. For, so from a pure educational perspective, Four Roses is a must-have in your collection as you're starting out because you taste it and you learn about it. And the more you learn about bourbon, the more you will appreciate it. So I'm telling you right now, Four Roses Single Barrel is one to get. Now, I also think that you need to be going outside of uh, Kentucky. And the one that I'm going to tell you to get outside of Kentucky is Woodenville. Woodenville's out of Washington. Now, you will find that they're actually pretty available. You have to look a little bit. Maybe you have to shop online. Maybe you have to go in a few stores. Maybe you'll walk past it at a store. I don't know. But here's the thing is that Woodenville is out there. You may have to hunt a little, but it is well worth the hunt. And this is one of the best bourbons that's coming outside of Kentucky. And if you're just beginning this journey, it's true. Bourbon does not have to be made in Kentucky, but put Woodenville on your shopping cart list. Also, one that is going to be a little bit higher in the price range, but uh, brings a lot of cash strength quality, and that's the Barrel Bourbon line. Now, Barrel Bourbon is actually a blend of straight. So what they will do is, is they take bourbons from various distilleries and blend them in together. They don't add anything like a grain neutral spirit or any kind of the wacky stuff like that but you are you are getting absolutely delicious bourbon time and time again when you get it in fact they have won my uh blend of straights in uh, 2020 and they won my best american whiskey in 2018 so make sure barrel bourbon is on that list it's going to be just in about every store and that's maker's mark maker's mark is a great great starter bourbon now they didn't that makers mark they may not like to hear that they're a great starter bourbon but i can guarantee you you poll most you know bourbon enthusiasts this is the bourbon that they cut their teeth on to include my wife who is a huge bourbon head this is what she drank for a long time and i think you should have it in your collection as well now this is uh relatively new to the market this is Old Tub. Old Tub is uh, is an old brand from Jim Beam. It used to be a distillery-only product. Now it's out into the mainstream. A big old giant cornbread note. You will find that some people don't like this one. But here's the thing. That's why we taste. We taste for ourselves. And this one is consistently fantastic for me in that under $25 pour. And you may have to hunt for it a little bit depending on your market, but you can also find it online. So I would say put Old Tub in that collection. Staying in the Jim Beam family, Knob Creek. Knob Creek, this is the basic nine-year-old Knob Creek. It is fantastic. In uh, 2015, it won the best bourbon at the San Francisco World Spirits Competition. I think it's a highly, highly underrated bourbon that people walk by all the time, and I still don't know why, but this needs to be in your starter collection when you're getting those first 10 bourbons. Staying in that age range, Russell's Reserve 10-year-old. This is the 90-proof one, Russell's Reserve 10-year-old. As you can see, 
I've, uh, I've liked this one just a little bit. So this is one I think, you know, anybody who's starting a bourbon collection, if you don't have a uh, wild turkey in there, you know, you're missing out. You really do need to have a wild turkey in there. So Russell's Reserve 10-year-old. Uh, this is going to be in the harder to find category, you know, in some markets, Buffalo Trace. Buffalo Trace is the creator or the distiller behind Blanton's, uh, Weller, Pappy Van Winkle, you know, and so there's this kind of, uh, this kind of like hunting, uh, thing for all Buffalo Trace products and the regular Buffalo Trace is a byproduct of that as well. And so you may have to hunt for this one. I was between this and Eagle Rare 10 year old. I decided with the regular Buffalo Trace because I think it's a little bit more attainable. That said, you're still probably going to have to look for it in most markets. But it is a good everyday pour. Staying in the same company from a parent company perspective, Sazerac owns the brand 1792. This is the bottled and bond version. This is one that I think is so, so underrated. I would I buy this uh, you know as many as I can when I see them. And uh, it is definitely in our daily drinking uh, consideration. Now, the winner of my Best Everyday Bourbon in 2019 and coming in, uh, I think, second or third in 2020, Evan Williams a Bottled and Bond. That's Evan Williams a Bottled and Bond. This is a this is something that you can find uh, in, in most uh, markets. It's also available online wherever you go. But the best thing is you're not going to break the bank. This is like a $20 pour, or I'm sorry, a $20 bottle. And so if you compile all of these together, you know, the highest price one is, is barrel bourbon. Now, there are some here, you know, there's not meant to be any snubs, but this is the first 10 bottles. You're walking into a store, you're getting them. Uh, you can substitute anything here with an Old Forester. So I'm a big fan of Old Forester. Anything that's in here, uh, just say that, you know, you can substitute that with any of the Old Forester products. Also, if you want to jump into the barrel finish category, which is you know a little different, that's a topic for another time. But Angel's Envy, Angel's Envy bourbon is uh, finished in uh, port cask, and if it's available in your market, I think that's a great one to add as well. And if you want to go high on the hog, you want to really go on the on the hunt, you could go with my former everyday sipper, and that was Henry McKenna. And now you can't find it anymore because in um, 2017, we named it uh, World's Best Whiskey at the San Francisco World Spirits Competition. And um, it hasn't been seen on the shelves in a big way since. And yes, I do miss seeing it on the shelves, even though we're all partly to blame. But that's going to do it. If you are out there on the hunt, put it your what you think is the best thing for uh, someone to have in their in their first 10 bourbons that they're buying in the comments section. If this is your first time to the channel, hey, I got a lot of cool things coming. I interview people and drink whiskey with the likes of NFL Hall of Famer Charles Woodson and you know Grammy Award winner Ludacris. I'm also doing regular blind tastings. And, uh, you know, we just have a good time here on the channel. We even have a member community where we just kind of like hang out on a regular basis. But that's going to do it for this episode. Click the subscribe button. And uh, I'll see you next time. Remember, vodka sucks, unless it's being used for hand sanitizer. Cheers.